I've got a single tear running its way <laughs> down my foundation, and it's not going to be pretty. A major macaroni makeover. Thanks to the food police, Kraft announcing its mac and cheese will no longer be made with artificial preservatives or synthetic dyes starting in January of 2016. Instead, the iconic food staple will get its coloring from natural sources like paprika and turmeric. The move follows intense pressure from activists and food bloggers. Mm, Kraft says the new mac and cheese, three years in the making, it won't look or taste any different. The reaction on Twitter, it's been pretty intense. One person saying, what in the freaking freak? Mac and cheese <laughs> is supposed to look like Bart Simpson. If it doesn't, I don't want it. Another writes, craft macaroni on holy color oh, powdered shit. cheese dust will be fondly remembered always. Oh. <laughs> Andrea, you have a very special relationship <laughs> with mac and cheese. Do you want to talk about your feelings? It's true. Time? I do. I love it. And I love that crusty, cheesy, bright yellow remnants that are in the bowl when you eat it right out of the bowl. I've even eaten it on birthdays. It's all I wanted for a birthday once was a bowl, Kraft macaroni and cheese, and I ate an entire box. So my heart wow. is a little heavy today. Mm. I'm literally. I, literally. Literally. <laughs> my stomach <laughs> is even heavier. A certain period of time, my older daughter would only eat Kraft macaroni mm. and cheese. And I would put things in it, vegetables, and I would try to, you know, smooth it out with some sneaky stuff in there. Um, she can read at a fifth grade level in second grade now. Wow. Bring it on. Oh, by the way, I did some research on things that are actually hurting our children. So to take it serious for a moment, um, our brain room looked this up. Sadly, how many children are harmed each year in unintentional injury? And it ends in death. 5,300 in 2013, oh. the last time these stats were looked at. There are some serious injuries and things that we need to look at in this country where our children are concerned. Mac and cheese, not on any of my seven pages mm. of things research. I mean, what's wrong with this, though, right? <laughs> if it's, if it's going to taste the same and the ingredients are more natural and better for kids, great. I right? hate like, Michelle Obama. I, well, I thought <laughs> you were like, let's do a taste test. We should do like one market here. forces. These are market forces. They, that's right. I was just going to say these are market forces. Uh, look, I understand your, um, by the way, we have a little box here. Uh, there's a craft plant in, in my husband's district. So they, they craft made this box. There he is. And, and uh, you can get your own picture on, on your box if you want. Is that true? Yes. You can? I will make it happen, Andrea. Yeah. Yeah. Andrea, I'm going to make it happen for you with the craft box. But here's the deal. I think people <laughs> of a certain age are really sort Sort of emotionally tied to that neon orange color. I think that yes. if other kids, but I think younger kids who would get introduced to the new natural turmeric mm. paprika version, <laughs> I don't think they care. I think yeah, there's an emotional really? attachment that you have to it. So you're saying get attention. over it, Andrea. Get, get over, over it. it and the yellow fingers from the powder. Get so over what it. happens when you go to somebody else's no house and they like their mac and cheese more than they like mama's? Because they are going to discover it one day. You know what? I make a gluten-free from scratch.